dog lover, by the way, and she has two black dogs. I don't know Jack why. Jack for what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Sorry. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about this book I started reading, mm -hmm. The Weight. Mm -hmm. The Weight, Devon Franklin and Megan Good. So after I went through my healing process, I decided to take myself out on beauty, you know, splurge, you know, like, like a massage and like nails and stuff uh -huh. to feel good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was at the nail salon and um, I was reading this book and when I was leaving, I just had, like, I just grabbed the book and I was, you know, just walking out. And then this lady said, she's waiting on someone. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> but like, it didn't even really register. It was when I got home, um, it came back again, and then I just started laughing. And then I just heard these words, you're not waiting on someone, you're waiting on the one. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Jesus, lover of my soul, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> you still go and give me Boaz, though, when the time is right, according <laughs> to your will. Anyways. <laughs> Moving on. So initially when I picked up this book, I thought it was about waiting on the right guy and all of that. Mm -hmm. But it really isn't. I I really, really urge you all to go buy this book. It's very, very good. It really is really good. It's about waiting on God to perfect his plan for your life. Like not even getting in the midst of it. Letting God heal you from the inside out and taking out every, all that junk. Because what happens is that if you have not received your complete healing, you go into another relationship and you hurt someone else. And that person goes and hurts another person. And so it's like a cycle. cycle. And then by the time the hurt is done, it might even come back to your own child. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. It might come back to your own child. Yeah. So, so it's very important that you take out time to get healing from mm -hmm. God. Yeah. Only God can give it. No man can give it. Your, your more money is not going to give you healing. That's yeah. the truth. More money, more problems. But I don't mind more money. I don't mind more money, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, just take time out and really get your healing. Yeah. It's very important. And not on your own time. Mm -hmm. On God's, on God's time. time. That's so true. We, we tend to look at, like, our situations, our ages, our people around us, mm -hmm. and be like, okay, you know, God, I'm ready. You are I'm 35 ready. years old and you are not yet <laughs> my... <laughs> 35. I know, right? And I know, like, sometimes it's so... There's so much pressure to, you know, be somewhere at a certain time. And I noticed that, like, with God, like, it's totally different from what you plan. Like, so different. Like, God's ways are not our ways. Are not all. our ways, honestly. <laughs> but if you actually tap in to what God has for you, like, you start seeing why. He does what he does. Sometimes we just want to know, okay, God, even though if it's on your own time, tell me why, tell me why, mm -hmm. tell me why. And I'm just like... Power struggle. You yeah. know, power um, struggle. Like, if you struggle with God, like... you like just let him. You know, like, you, you just pretty much told him, save me, mm -hmm. this is my salvation. And then now you want a power struggle. It's one or the other, you know. Salvation comes with a price. That's right. Freedom comes with a price. That's right. right? Exactly. So and um, you know, I just I just remembered something actually that also helped me. Um, I had gone and I was listening to a preacher, and he said something. Um, he said, "I didn't. I was sleepy, so I didn't really hear everything else that was said. I apologize, sir. But um, this particular thing stuck." Your self-worth is different from your net worth. And your self-worth is the price that was paid on the cross by the blood of Jesus. I'll say that again. Your self-worth is different from your net worth. Your self-worth is the price that was paid on the cross by the blood of Jesus. Now say that to yourself a couple of times. That's too because much, though. It, no, not right now. I mean, <laughs> they can do it on their own. <laughs> they can do it on their own. Mm -hmm. You know, like just say it. it's a seed for real. Because that day, I mean, that was a seed that was planted in me that just kept, I kept reminding myself of it over and over and over again. Even when I was still struggling with my healing, struggling and battling and, and stuff, you know, it was just like, I paid the price. I paid the price. And that's what you define, your, define yourself by. So it's very important. Just remind yourself of that. And oh, funny enough, I'm actually doing 
a video talking about salvation mm -hmm. and the sacrifices that come with it to really actually explain mm -hmm. what the price means. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. watch out, tune in, detoxbygrace.com. Don't carry last. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I wanted to talk about some, you know, media scrutiny and speculations and things like that about certain people. Y'all that always judge. So it's not mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Y'all that always judge. So um, Megan Good. Some people have been talking about Megan Good and saying, "Oh, why she dressed like that?" Well, I wanted to th test a theory that I I read about somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, Amanda, please your left finger do this. <laughs> Your left, no, your left hand. Yeah, oh. do that with your left hand. I have hand. to find out which one is your left or right. <laughs> okay, so we're pointing, right? And this theory basically says, I want, it's both hands, realize I have right, she got left. So you can't say, you know, there's a hand missing or anything in this theory. <laughs> yeah, so when you point one finger at someone, look at that, you got three left pointing right back at you. <laughs> so you know what this means? For every one person you judge, you're getting judged three times mathematics. It's very easy. <laughs> judge 10 people, you're getting judged 30 times. That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> now, moving on to Beyonce. Mm, babe, you don't understand. You know? Wait, before we even go to Beyonce, the thing about Megan Good that some people even like forget is that like everybody has their own personal journey with Christ. Like mm -hmm. you, I'm like the most unconventional Christian you could ever ever meet. I mean, right now I'm still struggling with cussing. Like I have to pinch myself not to say some words right now. <laughs> you know, and the, everybody struggles with something. Like I don't understand. Like I said, she's in the media, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like who are you to judge? Like I'm pretty sure you've done something today, like worse, <laughs> Even like judging. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like. And yeah. I don't understand why people are pointing fingers at her. Like, you don't know where she's going to end up. Let's let's wait to Judgment Day. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beyonce. So, what about Beyonce? Hold on now. Okay. I will tell you. Don't go on my girl like that, though. No, no, Careful. no. I'm actually, it's a good thing. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So, Beyonce. A lot of people always complain about Beyonce. Why she got to be naked like this? Why is she like that? Why is she like this? You know what made me mad? I read an article about how this girl stopped. <laughs> Distraction. <laughs> be so, so, I read an article and this girl actually went to a Beyonce concert and she was connecting all Beyonce songs and things she was doing with how Beyonce is in the Illuminati. And I was so pissed off. I said, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You paid for a Beyonce ticket. They ain't cheap though. Now, in the United States, not even Africa, there are people sleeping under the bridge. You didn't take that money to help them out and give them shelter. <laughs> you paid for a Beyonce concert to judge Beyonce. What is wrong with you? Okay, you know what? Uh, in her defense, let, let me play the devil's advocate right now. <laughs> oh God, I'm a child of God, excuse me. But uh, let's play the devil's advocate. You know there's some people that feel like there's some kind of a calling to, you know, expose the devils of today, you know? She like, might have been feeling that way. Like, you just never know how somebody is... Okay, I'm going to cut it right there. Like, <laughs> I'm trying... Yeah, I'm yeah, trying just, to give... Just you, to, I'm just Anyway, saying. it's good you mentioned that because it leads me right into what I was about to say. I got into a heated argument with someone once and, you know, she was talking about how a bunch of people got together and they were judging this preacher, this man of God. And I was so mad because, you know, his books kind of inspired me and stuff. And so I kept going back and forth with her. And then at some point, you know, I just said, hold up, hold up, hold up. During the time y'all sat down to talk about this, did any of y'all pray for him? And she said, I get it now. Uh-uh. 
they sat down Christians to talk about the wrong thing that a man of God did. Of which in the but Bible they did not think to pray for him. Yeah, of which in the Bible it does say that you should be careful about what you say about uh, preachers, right? Mm -hmm. Right, want to gossiping. There's something about the Bible that says you shouldn't gossip, right? Like I think they just broke like three laws. Just, like seriously, just, just by doing that. that. <laughs> just by doing that, I'm you so know, done. like you know. <laughs> And not, that like, I'm, not that I'm counting on anything. I'm just saying, like, it's so easy, you know, to point fingers when you've done... Literally, they did three. <laughs> <laughs> three times. <laughs> <laughs> three times. I mean, that's funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, but, yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's just crazy how we judge so much. And we've, we've taken out love. And, you know, and we forget... Who Jesus is. I hope you watched the scripts. I did. Okay. Go on. I'm hygienic. Oh, I'm so, out. so um, you know, we forget that Jesus came to save the world. Mm -hmm. Jesus went to a well to go restore a woman that had been with five husbands. Not one, not two, not three, not four, five guys. Husbands, married, as in not dating. The Bible says husbands. Well, we have churches nowadays excommunicating some people because they just divorced one time. I'm gonna move on. That does seem so like. I'm gonna move on. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And then. Did the husband die or she just divorced? Them? I don't yeah. even remember. I can't remember. Honestly, I, I had whether to they the died or not, is, she she moved on to another one. So, uh, to the next one. Uh, to the next one. <laughs> right. But yeah. So, and then another thing I wanted, another thing I wanted to bring out is also Moses. You know, Moses killed someone. Yeah, he was defending the Israelites, but he did kill someone. That's mm -hmm. murder. In America, you can't go to jail for murder. Moses killed someone, and God called him to still lead the people. Not that you should kill people now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't, don't get the message wrong, y'all. I'm just saying, if if you know, I mean, God forgives you, and then you move on, right? Don't say, oh, you know, <laughs> Moses did it, so I can do it and get away with it. No, no. don't do that. That's no. not the message. Yeah, thanks for thanks for mm -hmm. you know making that clear. Anyways, he did that, and then um. You know, he was supposed to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. And Moses struggled so much with these people. Like, he had so much strife with them. So he had anger issues and all of that. He really had anger he, issues. Like, had issues. Anger yeah. issues to the point that he was already going to hell. Read your Bible. Moses was going to hell. God sent an angel to go meet Satan. And he told the angel, do not argue with Satan. Why would God say do not argue with Satan? Because there was a basis for why Moses should go to hell. Mm -hmm. He just said, tell Satan, the Lord rebuke you. That was it. Okay. Oh God, God, so much. I can't rebuke, my son. You know, that's mercy right there. Mm -hmm. That's mercy. That's mercy. But yeah, so, um, you know, that's that's pretty much it. You know, do you have anything else before I... I'm going to, like, do a... <laughs> for my Game of Thrones fans and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And chess players, I got something for y'all. But um, I'll yeah, just say else? one thing from... If anything you've gotten from this is that when it comes to, you know, the original topic, which is Leah and mm -hmm. one of these people that we're talking about, is that your relationship with God is yours. Mm -hmm. Like... In as much as um, people, preachers, even us, people give you different suggestions on how to deal with your life or the things you know going you have on to, going on in your life. In the end, your relationship it's with God personal. Is, is personal. The Bible says, "Work out your salvation." Yeah, with fear with and trembling. Exactly. It's personal. So, like nobody, not your your partner, not your family, nobody. It's you. You know, ultimately. So. Even as we are testimonies of God's grace and mercy, Amen. but there were times where we had to be alone for God to work 
True. Work his, you know, his True. grace through us. And it wasn't that we're backsliding. We just really needed to be alone. You we know? just you, sometimes you just gotta be alone. Sometimes you really you know. To. I know it's some the first. You know, it's very hard to be alone nowadays when you're always distracted by a whole lot of stuff. But like that's when God speaks. When you're just by yourself and nobody's in your ear and your thoughts are not there as well. So give him a sh- chance. Pretty much like. Yep. You won't regret it. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. So, the chessboard. This is kind of hard to see, I guess. But for those people that maybe this is your first time ever hearing about this stuff, and you're like, what? What are they even talking about? Who's God? Who's Jesus? Who's Kingdom? Who's Spirit? Who's Pastor? Who's Preacher? He's my bae, <laughs> my lover, <laughs> my God. best friend. I am so dumb. Oh my God, the only reason why I live. I love. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, break, break, break. Yeah. Stop, stop, okay. stop. Let's get serious. Let's get serious. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> we've got this is the king on your chessboard, and we're gonna imagine this is God the Father. Mm-hmm. That's the this God the Father, right? And we got this guy over here. That's a horse, but we're gonna imagine that Jesus the Son. Hold on. <laughs> It's coming together. <laughs> We're gonna imagine this. What is this called? Is I, that, I don't know. I'm not a chess, chess player. Don't be offended, chess players. <laughs> but we're gonna call this Holy Spirit. So, Adam and Eve were created in the image and likeness of God, and then Satan deceived Eve. Eve deceived. Uh, Eve gave the apple to Adam, and when God asked. They decided to blame each other and um, you know Eve said it's the serpent that deceived me so she blames the devil Adam said it's the wife that you gave me she Play blamed victim. both God and the wife <laughs> <laughs> Play victim, <yo. laughs> she blamed both God and you can you imagine <laughs> anyways so when when that you know when the fall of man pretty much happened you know the spirit of God kind of <laughs> That's kind of hard to see, but it went from like there to like away from man. So that's man. All these people, all these pawns are man. And then they were still in communication with each other, but he was just away from man, you know. And then it was like, what are we going to do about this? What are we going to do about this? God cannot afford it. What are we going to do about this? What are we going to do about this? And then he said, okay. I'm a God of love, so I'm going to send my only begotten son to die for all these people and bring back the keys to, from the gate of hell. And he's going to come sit at my right hand, right? Mm-hmm. So he's now seated at the right hand of God the Father. And you know what that did? That brought the Holy Spirit out. Push! And then <laughs> it's coming together. And then the Holy Spirit went... Receive life. Receive life. Receive life. Soundtrack. Amanda. That's Amanda. Amanda <laughs> fell under the anointing. Receive life. Receive life. Receive life. And then that's where it talks about like the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in us. But for it to dwell in you, you have to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. You have to confess him as the way, the truth, and the life. You have to believe that he is the Son of God. There is no other way by which men are saved. Hear this. We are so sure of this because we have experienced it in a personal way. There is no, it's not about evolution. It's not about, there is no other way. There's just no other way. Stop listening to deception. There is no other way by which men are saved but the name of Jesus. That's it. Jesus, Christ the Lord. I can't sink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're done. Um, you know, this was really good. Mm-hmm. I wish we could go on, but you know, we have other things to do. You know what I'm saying? Yup, 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 We gotta think about our father's big steps. He got us to do other things in life. <laughs> but yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. But before we close, we're gonna, you know, invite you to give your life to Christ. If this is your first time hearing about this. Oh, God. Welcome. Welcome into the family. Ooh, ooh, the family of God. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, 
um, Amanda is gonna pray with you um, you know if you're crying just it's fine just just let God complete his work because I do believe that some people by now are already crying and just let God heal you just let God deliver you don't depend on any man don't call anybody just talk to God. Just stay right where you are and just, just talk to God. He let speaks. him do everything. He really does. He, he really speaks does. To you. So let him do it. Yeah. And so um, Amanda will pray for you before we close out. Pray, pray. Okay, right, let's close eyes and pray. All right. So in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, am I supposed to pray the uh, salvation prayer? I did pray for that. Okay, you're gonna cut it. Three, two, one. Okay, let's uh, close our eyes and have the prayer of salvation. Our dear Lord, our dear Lord, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, and Holy Spirit, we are God our Father, God our Father. We receive you tonight. We receive you today. And we receive you for the rest of our lives. And we receive you for the rest of our lives. We surrender our world to you. We surrender our world to we you. We completely bow at your feet surrendering. We completely bow at your feet surrendering. Accepting you. Accepting you. As our personal Lord and Savior. As our personal Lord and Savior. To guide and to guard us for the rest of our lives. To guide and to guard us for the rest of our lives. And to be used, all of us to be used for your own glory and your glory and Lord. and for all of us to be used for your own glory and your glory alone thank you Lord for this opportunity thank you Lord for this opportunity thank you Lord for the people around me thank you Lord for the people around me and I thank you Lord for the things that are yet to come and I thank you Lord for the things that are yet to come amen amen so uh, dear Heavenly Father I want to pray for those people that just gave their lives unto you we praise your name O oh Lord for giving us the opportunity to be your vessels to proclaim your glory amongst humans O oh Lord we thank you God for accepting your children into your kingdom thank for you, giving us the wisdom the knowledge and understanding to be able to bring them to you Father I pray that this is just the beginning of the wonderful relationship you're gonna have with them Amen. that in all things they shall seek your face Amen. and your face alone Amen. that should not Amen. listen to any other man but you oh yes, Lord, Lord. Yes, Heavenly Lord. Father in all things they are going to give you glory yes, and Lord. they shall be a connection to other people Amen. that will surrender unto you Father yes, we thank you again Lord of our yesterday, today and forever Jesus. Amen, Amen. Yeah. Go live in that freedom and don't sin again yeah.